Hello, hello, hello! In today's video we will be maximizing Kaya. We will go all the way up from level 40 to level 81 and from talent level 2 to talent level 9. And we will test how our damage improved with every accession. Is Kaya worth to level up? Let's find out. Kaya. And in my previous videos I promised to level up him. And it's time to fulfill my pledge. And oh my god, how much hate I received for my level 40 Kaya's video. And because of this, in this video I'll show and explain my builds a little bit more. Usually we are measuring damage by adding character to the team. It's to understand how much value each support is provide. But the main goal of this video is to show how important to level up your character and most important is talents. We'll measure damage with every accession and we'll see how much improvement we're getting from our investments. And before we go further, let's look at the build that we will be using. Right now he is level 40 out of 50. For the weapon we'll be using Miss Splitter. Yes, 5 star sword. Yes, best sword in the game. But I saved for this weapon and we will use this weapon. We will be playing free stream, so of course we will be using full blizzard strayer. And in my previous video people were thinking that I'm using well level artifacts. But let's take a closer look on them. Let's start with Feather, 2.7 crit rate. 12% crit damage, 14% HP and 11% attack. And attack percentage saved this piece. I think attack percentage is second most important stat on the Blizzard Strayer set. Because we are getting 40% crit rate from the passive alone. And let's move to the next piece, Flower. 3.9 crit rate, 18% crit damage, 37 elemental mastery unfortunately useless on this set and 13% energy recharge. And this piece is good, but Kaya doesn't have any energy problems. He has energy recharge as his accession stat. And now let's go for the whale artifacts. Attack Sense. 7% crit rate, 21% crit damage. Yes, substat delivery is bad. We have HP and flight defense. But we have attack percentage as the main stat. And because of this, we cannot get attack percentage as the substat. And yes, this artifact is a whale level. And this will be almost impossible to get upgrade on this sense. Ok, another godlike piece. 10% crit rate, 18% crit damage on Cryo damage bonus goblet. Substat delivery is flat defense and elemental mastery, but insane crit value completely cover our losses. And it's Cryo goblet and Cryo goblet will be the hardest piece to get. Because elemental damage goblets it's pure random and it depends on RNG gods that you get good or bad elemental damage piece. And yes, I agree, this is the whale level artifact. Let's go for the circlet and this will be the controversial one. Yes, we have 9% crit rate, but substat delivery is terrible. We have 39% defense, 500 HP and flat attack. Yes, flat attack is kinda usable, but all the substat delivery is just terrible. And even though we have high crit value here, I'm not considering that this artifact can be really good. Yes, it decent. But this artifact would be better if we had lower crit rate, but we had attack percentage as a substat. As example, let's look at my Yimikas piece. Even though we have lower crit rate here, this piece is the well level. Zero substat wasted. Yimika has direct elemental mastery scaling. Yimika attack percentage scaling is really good. Yimika has energy problems. And even though we have low crit rate here, but still these artifacts give her insane value. So let's head back to the Kaya and as I previously said, the second most important stat is attack percentage. And if we go through all my artifacts, we have only two rolls in the attack percentage. So is my artifacts are good? Yes, they are. But does they well level good? I don't think so. Constellation and my Kaya is C2. Unfortunately, I've got zero Kayas from the standard banner and I bought this constellation through the shop. Talents level right now 2, 2 and 2. And for the stats 1500 attack and crit ratio 38, 227. Yes, we still have great crit ratio and it's because we have crit damage weapon. So that's it for the build, let's go for the team building. Kaya's team. And yes, yes, we have all the 5 star except Kaya. And this is because Kaya is a Kraya character and if you want to play free steam, this would be expensive. I talked about this problem in my Ayakas video. Mihoya decided to make dedicated Kraya support 5 star. 
Best Anima support for the free streams is a 5 star. Best Hydra applicator for the free stream is again 5 stars. As example, let's look at this hyper carry Hazel team. As you can see, here we have only 4 stars. And in most scenarios, this would be best in slight hyper carry Hazel team. Hyper carry. Not just driver, hyper carry. This is very important. And these 4 stars will give him best value. And unfortunately for Kaya, he is gaining his best value from the 5 stars. And today we will be using this team with one exception. We are giving up on Shenhe. First reason, because her buff is a flat damage bonus and she will increase our damage by the same amount on level 40 and level 90. Almost the same amount, we have small damage penalty for the level difference. And the second reason is trigger quota, because Shenhe's buff doesn't work the same on Kaya like it's working, let's say, on Ayaka. Let's see examples. So, here I'm doing the standard rotation, crowd control, freezing them with Mona, so going to Ayaka and using her burst. Ayaka's burst doing AoE damage, and 5 of our hits will do increased damage, no matter how much enemies we fight. Shenhe's trigger quota doesn't affect it if we hit multiple enemies. Let's do the same thing with Kaya. So doing standard rotation, freezing with Mona, going to Kaya and using Kaya's burst. And everything looks normal right now. But if we unpause it, we immediately losing Shenhe trigger quota. Not even one second is passed. It's because Kaya's icicle doesn't do AoE damage and each individual hit using Shenhe's stun. And because of this, Shenhe's damage buff is not adding a lot of value when you're fighting multiple enemies. And we are relying mostly on Kaya's individual scalings. But Shenhe still best frees Kaya support, but for different reasons. Yes, her main buff adding low value to Kaya, but she still has 15% cry damage bonus buff, 15% elemental skill and elemental burst damage increase, and 13% cryo resistance decrease. But because of inconsistency that Shen have provide, we will use I Lila instead of her. I want to see you pure damage too, increase that right? we're getting from leveling up. And for the buffs, what buffs we're getting from this team? 20% attack buff from Tenacity Lila, 15 crit rate from Cryo Resonance, 40% elemental resistance decrease and elemental damage bonus from Kazuha, 68% attack from Trilling Tails and Nobles Mona, and 50% from Mona's Omen. And let's go for the damage testing. And we'll be testing our damage on extra large Dorito chip. Yes, he is not perfect candidate for free stream testing, but I want the same enemy on every strap. So right now Kaya is level 40 out of 50 and with talents 2, 2 and 2. So let's see what he can do. So starting with Lila burst, Lila skill, Kazuka skill, Mona skill, Mona's burst, Going to Kaya, skill 19k, and best 8000, 8000, nice, nice. Right now 6000 because Mona's buff is run out. So Kaya's burst is run out, let's recover some energy. And we wasn't even able to take half of boss HP. So let's go and level up. And we are going all the way up to level 50, yes, let's use these books. And how much attack we're getting? 1000 wasted HP. Alright, alright. And it's almost nothing. Yes, it's almost nothing. Come on. So let's ascend. And we're getting 13. 13 base attack more. Nice, nice. Energy recharge at the substat. Okay, let's go. 50 out of 60. Nice. And if we look at attack, it doesn't grow that much. So let's go for more important stuff. Talents and their scaling. So skill 206 with level 2 we're going to 220. And level 4 239. And let's go for the main source of damage. And HT3 on level 2 it's like nothing. Right now we're going HT9 and 97. 97. It's better. Nice. 97. Okay. And let's see what damage we're doing right now. So let's go. Same rotation. Lila skill, Lila's burst, Kazuka skill, Mona skill, Mona's burst. Going to Kaya, waiting a bit. Skill 24k and burst 10k. 10k. So we are getting 2000 increase. And it's 25%. 25% 
from leveling up our talents by two levels. Nice. And we've done almost half of the boss HP. All right. And now it's time to become stronger again. And we are going all the way up to level 60. 5000 HP wasted. No, I'm not doing this. We're going for level 59. And, and 800 XP wasted. Nice, nice. So level 60 and attack increase is again miserable. Almost nothing and wait, come on, I forgot to craft this. So let's quickly craft those. So I was prepared everything except these gems and 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 let's drop right here. So we need purple ones and gold ones. So we need six gold one and nine purple. And we have two of them and in total we would need to craft how much? 27? 27! We have exactly what we needed. Nice, nice. So we craft everything, we came back and finally we can ascend. We can ascend our character. And we are getting only 10. 10 base attack. Come on, this is nothing. Alright. Mm. And attack increase again miserable. So let's move to important stuff. Talents. 253 for level 5. 268 for level 6. Nice. And we're crossing 100 mark for the burst. 103. And the next level 109. Nice, nice. So let's see what damage increase we're getting. So same rotation. Lila. Kazuha. Mona. And Kaya, skill 29k and 12k, 12k burst, again, we are getting again 2000 increase, nice. So, this time we've got only 20% damage increase, but you know, damage is the damage. But let's move to the next step, alright? And right now we are going all the way up to level 69, I'm not wasting, I'm not wasting 4000 XP, you know? It's XP and again 4000. No, 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 no. Free books. And my last green book, 75. I'll take that, I'll take that. Nice. The level 70. And a session and again we're getting 10. 10 base attack. Why we was getting more base attack on lower accessions? I don't understand that. But all right. Let's move to the towns. Skill 287. Can we cross 300 max with the talent level H? And, and, and yes, we can! 306, nice! Damage incoming! And burst 116. And the next level, 124. Okay, alright. And uh, no. No, 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 no. Let me craft this fast. And 124 for the burst. Okay, alright. Let's test. And let me guess, let me guess how much damage increase we are receiving. This will be 2000, yes? Okay, Mona. Let's look, let's look. Skill 35. And... 14... 14 and a 7k. So, so we got two and a half. This time we've got two and a half thousand increase. But do you see the problem? Let's see at the health of the boss. Even though we are increasing damage, his HP is not going down. <laughs> I don't think that we would able to one cycle him in the end. Because we're almost in the end, next accession is last. But let's see how this will go. Last accession and why this accession is last. First let's go all the way up to level 80. I mean 79. Yes, 79 and then 80. 3000. Ooh, we don't have green books. We don't have green books. All right. I'll take that. 3000 XP lost. Last session and only 10. Base attack increase as just always. Traveling partners. All right. But we are not stopping on level HT. We are going all the way up to level HT1. And we will stop here because Kaya doesn't rely on transformative reaction. And we don't need to level up him to level 90. And actually, in the end, we've got decent attack increase, 170 compared to level 40. And I plan to stop on talents level 8. 
But I own Kaya for his incredible performance on level 40 and he deserves to go talent level 9 at least. So 325 for the skill scaling and 132 for the burst. And finally he is complete, at least for now. And here is the problem. Can we beat the boss before he is going invisible? So let's try, let's try. Kazuha, Mona, going to Kaya, skill burst. 16k. Yes, 16k. 16k. Alright. Oh, we cannot. We cannot. So, so, let's fast. Let's fast make another rotation. Please. Lila. Kazuha. And Mona doesn't have energy. Alright. Kaya skill, Kaya's burst. And we destroy spinners before he is going invisible. Nice. Nice. So, yes. 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 We are finishing him. We have finished the boss before he is going invisible. That wasn't one rotation, but one and a half, I would say. And Kaya wasn't designed to be boss killer. A lot of his skill doesn't work on bosses. So let's try him in another place. I want to try him in Spiral Abyss. We wouldn't go full run because almost no one watches my full Spiral Abyss runs. But I want to try him at least in one chamber. The first half would be perfect. And I've already made a lot of runs with free stream on the first half, so I want to try first chamber second half. So let's see how Kai proved himself in real battle condition. So starting with Lila burst, Lila skill, Kazuha group metal Doritos, Mona make them wet, going to Kai 42k and 16k burst. Can we one rotate them? Yes, we can, they're frozen, nice, nice. And the good thing we have C2 and it extends our Kaya's best duration. So let's cook Stileo Fish, Mona applying Hydra, going to Kaya, Kaya's best, Kazuha, Kazuha's best. Can we one rotate them? Yes, yes, we can, yes, Kaya working really good, really nice. When enemies are freezable, it's drastically different experience. So the last way, the last way, can we group? No, we can group, so we need to kill them one by one. So let's start with this one. Let Kazuka's burst. Lila, rotating, going to second rotation. Alright, Kaya. Kaya's burst is not ready. Alright, now Kaya's burst. And we are killing steroid Hilichu. So, last enemy, last enemy. So let's rotate fast, Kazuka. Mona, going to Kaya, waiting for the first cooldown, and yes, yes, we're finishing, nice! And this was drastically different in experience compared to the boss fight, we have really smooth rotations. And let's end this video with the damage per screenshot. So applying Kraya, Swirling Kraya, Sucrose Burst, Bennett, Mona, going to Kaya, Kaya's burst, 62k, Kaya's kill, 161k, 62 burst again, nice. And yes, now, now we are one rotating the boss. So, thank you for the watching, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video.